Hey guys, what is going on? It is Minidoff, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the 3D items mod. So I previously showed you how to install the timber mod, and now that I am using the 3D items mod in my Tough in the Minecraft Let's Play, I thought it would be a perfect idea to show you guys how to install it. So, this is the Mac tutorial, and tomorrow I will be showing you guys the Windows tutorial, so sit tight for that if you are using a Windows computer. So, there are three things that you need to download just to change up this to this yeah three things you need to get it's a little bit more of a pain than I thought it would be just to change a few things but it is well worth it in the end so I will have all three links in the description to the website you're gonna need and first thing we're gonna do is download the actual 3d items mod so go ahead and scroll down under the big donate button then there should be a download link and we're gonna do this using mod loader I really don't like the forge that much it doesn't seem to be that good for me I like mod loader and now that they have the options between the two I always seem to go with mod loader so go ahead and click download right here and this will download you the mod loader version also you will need to go and click mod loader here this will take you to the mod loader website and you can just go ahead and scroll down go ahead and download mod loader and go ahead and download through adfly to help support them because they deserve your help and support next we will have Quinn options you can find that right here you can just click that and go ahead and scroll down and download the mod loader version okay so just go ahead and click that download it and you will be all good you will have all the files you need so now you should have three files located in your downloads folder or on your desktop or wherever you put them go ahead and unzip them and you should get this so if you don't know how to unzip then you're pretty new to this whole thing just go ahead and double click it and you will get these files folders whatever you must call them now what we're gonna do is go ahead and create a backup of our minecraft folder so if we screw up doing this we can just go ahead and you know, go back to that backup and get back to the old Minecraft we love and used to know. So all you need to do is go into your finder and go ahead and click go up here in the menu bar and then hold down the alt button. It's alt on my keyboard. It's the one right on the left of the space bar and to the right of the command button and press library. Okay, so click library. Go to application support. Go into Minecraft. We're going to need to copy this folder. So go ahead and press copy and paste it. So go ahead and paste it on your desktop, and in case something goes wrong and you get a black screen, just go ahead and put this folder right back in, and then push replace, okay? And that will give you the exact version of Minecraft you had before we installed this mod. So now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to force update my Minecraft. And what this allows me to do is go back to the fresh new vanilla version of whatever version you are running. So right now, for me, it's 1.4.5. So this will work on future versions unless they change the actual process of installing the mod. But anyway, go ahead and open up your Minecraft and then you should see an option. Go under options and press force update. So go ahead and choose that, press done, log in and it will force update. It will re-download Minecraft and it should be working and you should get back to the normal vanilla version. If, if this does not work, if you get a done loading and it does not work, then what you need to do is go into your finder and go to Minecraft, go to bin, and just delete this entire bin folder. Don't worry, it's not going to screw anything up. Delete the whole bin folder, and then re-download, and it will re-download all this, and you'll be good. But before you go ahead and start deleting stuff, go ahead and force update. So go ahead and log in. I'm going to do it, and I'll be right back when I get done with this. All right, so just an example. This is what happens if you force update and it doesn't work. So all I need to do is go and close Minecraft down and delete the entire bin folder and start up Minecraft and it should re-download this for me. Alrighty guys, I have fully launched into Minecraft and see now it's running the vanilla version 1.4.5. We can go ahead and close this and now we have the bin folder back. That's really good because we're going to need to install stuff into the Minecraft.jar. Now the reason we need to get into the Minecraft.jar is that is where we have to put all of these files into. So to do that, go ahead and press enter on your minecraft.jar you have to click on it first press enter it should allow you to rename it just go ahead and go over to the end and add dot zip so press dot zip and press enter and it will give you the option are you sure press use dot zip then all you're going to need to do is double click that it should unzip it for you and you should have a folder now so now all we need to do is add some files to the folder so go ahead and go into mod loader we're going to need to install this first it's important you do mod loader first so go into mod loader press command or control a whatever you want to do highlight all of it or you can do it you can, you can do it this way whatever way you prefer go ahead and add all of these files into minecraft.jar so go ahead and apply it all replace that's it pretty simple and now we're done with mod loader now there's something this is what i screwed up on before go ahead and look in 3d items and the quinn options folder you should see 
two folders that are named the same thing. This is the problem, okay? It looks like we need to add the 3D items stuff into the uh, folder right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into, it doesn't matter which one we do this to, but we're need, going to need to remember which we do it to. So for my instance, I'm going to go ahead and go into 3D items and quin options. I'm going to put the API into the quininity folder. So you should see mods in here. Go ahead and put API into this folder because normally if you do this in Windows, it will automatically just add this for you. But now we, you know, it does it all for us. So now what we're going to do is grab the quin options and grab the this folder. We don't need it any for it's empty. So just go ahead and delete that and put all these files into the minecraft.jar replace. You're good. Now what we're going to need to do is go ahead and go into the 3D items and put that into the minecraft.jar and replace. And now you should be good guys. So make sure you, you know, you change the folders up that I showed you how to do. And now I'm going to start up Minecraft and I will be right back. All right, guys. So we are now in game. I'm going to go ahead and make this full screen and I'm going to go ahead and load up the forgotten land, man. Thumbs up. If you remember this, wow, it's been a while since I've played this map. So, and it looks like we've done good. It didn't crash on us and throw that down and look at that. That is 3d. Look at that. It's, it's beautiful. The game has now been a new look at it it's beautiful look look at this wait press q 3d oh yeah oh look at all those 3d items get out of the way oh i can't see look at that Whew, just just astonishing oh the torch yes i'm just gonna throw everything on the floor oh okay that's enough playing around for now but i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and stay tuned for the windows tutorial which will be out tomorrow and if it is already out then I will have the link in the description. I will also have an annotation if you would like to see that. So yeah, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed, please click the like button below. It all really helps me out get this video noticed to a wider audience. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next one. Hope you have a fantastic day. Peace out.